let's mix it up a bit and this time we'll take a look at a Conrad model that's a truck mixer. The box is the standard Conrad blue and the model's wrapped in foam. And this particular model is a Mercedes-Benz Arox chassis with a Stetter mixer and it's in the colours of Salomon, a German company. Yes, there are some parts to fit and you have to firstly break them off of their moulding sprues. This you can do with a sharp knife or you can just take the fuggish approach and just rip the pieces off. But don't get too excited, you wouldn't want to damage anything. Here on Cranes Etc the expertly trained staff work with all the precision of a wood butcher. The first mirror to fit is an unsilvered one and it goes over the cab door. And this one is quite a tight fit. Next up are the main door mirrors and these are silvered so they will be of some use to the driver in the cab. Again they just press in and again it's a tight fit so they'll stay in place once they're fitted. The last thing to fit is an aerial on the roof and here you see it being fitted by some giant alien with giant legs. Yep, only on cranes etc can you see a giant alien on the roof of a cab. Looking underneath there is some detail but the transmission is missing between the rear axles and the engine and the tyres all have the same tread design. The cab has got the Salomon name on the visor and the distinctive Arox grille looks good but there's no number plate on this model. The wheels do look good though and there's some nice detailing behind the cab. The metal mixer drum has got a nice finish and the graphics are both delicate and sharp. At the rear the access platform and ladder are metal. And as we go down, the rear lights are simply painted. Here is the Arox out on the giant concrete cranes etc test track. And it rolls along well enough in a straight line. All of the wheels spin individually and there's some float on the rear axles. There's also steering on the front axles, but surprisingly it's not linked. So you have to set each axle individually. But at least the steering angle is excellent and this truck will execute a very sharp turn. Let's go to the back and if you want to spread concrete all over the place you need a chute. And the chute on the model does pull out from a transport position. And you can spread the concrete all over your desktop. But of course a mixer drum does have to rotate and this one turns nice and smoothly. This is another typically solid and robust model from Conrad. It's got a nice heavy weight and the finish is good in this colour scheme of Salomon. Although the detailing and features are not of the highest level, it does look good when posed with another model, in this case a concrete pump. Overall this model is easy to rate as good. <laughs> 